Yo, it has come to my attention that recently, <clears throat> in the past two years, Rocket League updates have been slacking. I mean, let's be honest, the game is getting boring. And as someone who has actively played Rocket League since 2016, I'm very passionate about the game's lifespan, as obviously I do enjoy playing it and I think the game is very unique. So today I just wanted to go over some reasons uh, as to why Rocket League is dying. So, in my opinion, it's very easy to see the problem. I mean, all you have to do is look at Rocket League's Twitter. There is zero response to the community, and every single update is just another cosmetic item that you can buy in the item shop. <clears throat> Use code OKNYT in the item shop, by the way. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I genuinely think that the last good update that Rocket League has added is the tournaments, as it was finally something new and exciting. Like a tournament for each rank that allows you to play for a reward, uh, like title or even the points that you can buy the crates with. Like it was finally something exciting and that update was two years ago. So for the past two years, all we've been getting is a new car, new cosmetic items, new rocket passes and a new map each season, which is just the same map with a different skin pretty much. And this is the exact problem with Rocket League as it is right now. So, is there anything Psyonix or Epic Games can do about it? Of course there is. So here I have brainstormed five ways to bring Rocket League back on its legs. Number one. To start with the obvious, bringing back trading, as this alone has vanished a very big chunk of the Rocket League community. When I started playing in 2016, I mostly traded for like a whole year. I was a part of the trading community and as well as everyone else, I don't want to see it go away. Number two. Now this has been spoken about by every single big creator in the Rocket League and it is to make workshop maps easily accessible to play with your friends. This would be the biggest update in Rocket League's history, like ever in the whole history of the whole last eight or nine years whatever now i've played workshop maps with my friends before but it was such a tedious process it took us hours to get it set up but it was the most fun i've ever had in rocket league the most amount of fun i have ever had in the whole lifespan of the game i have never had more fun than play workshop maps with your friends so how about making that a very easy process of just downloading the, the map from the from steam making servers out of it and making it like joinable you know by by either your friends or you can make like a private match uh, where other people can join with a code that would make the game so much more fun and i guarantee that so many new people would start playing it as well as some of the people that have quit the game because that has been very common in the recent days even myself i have stopped playing rocket league for like a long period of time i i mainly play fortnite because that's what's fun right now rocket league is not fun at all so just doing a very simple thing as to just taking what you already have and what the community is making and just making it public to the to everyone to so everyone can enjoy it together instead of you know downloading the the hachima or whatever the fucking thing to get your friends in then you have to install the maps and you have to go into your folders change the maps names locations and everything and then every single person has to do the same process then you have to like join through backies mod and everything it's such a tedious process just making that easy for people it's already everything is already there just making that easier for people to access would literally realive the game like revive the game now another thing they could add to rocket league is unique hitboxes to each car right now you have like octane dominus merc uh, like venom or uh, stuff like that so you have you have i think you have five hitboxes right now so how about instead of having just five hitboxes make every single car even the new ones you add to the game have their unique hitboxes so that every car feels different and unique because that would make the game more exciting if i can just play with this car and then this car and then this car and just you know do some freestyles of this and this and try out the new hitboxes it would make the game so much more fun and that is also very easy to do because you just add a box that is the the hitbox of the car you just add a custom box it's really not that hard but it would make the game so much better and number four, improving slash adding new powers to Rumble. Even if adding more powers would complicate the game more, how about instead of adding new powers, just replace them with the current ones? Like the tornado, no one no one likes it. Just replace it with some cool power up. Come up with something. You have like, you have hundreds of employees just brainstorming and, and you can't come up with a new power up in like six years now or, or more even. Or instead of focusing on Rumble, just add a completely new fresh game mode. Because last time that happened was Dropshot, which was six years ago, or even longer than that. How was the last new game mode, like like a game mode that's actually like not just, you know, 
what they do now, which is like boom, boomer ball, which is just increasing the ball speed, which is fun, by the way. That's probably my favorite like custom game mode that you add every now and then. But then you have like spike rush and stuff like these are not fun. Add like beach ball, like add be like add beach ball. Realistically speaking, do do a net in the middle and make play people play tennis against each other. That would be so sick. And last but not least, fix the current smurfing problem right now i can go and create a new account on epic games and by the way the game is free to play now before you know people would have to buy another game to to smurf so there wasn't many smurfs because you know you had to pay like 20 or 25 pounds just to make a smurf like no one's doing that right now i can make a new epic games account go in rocket league and within 45 minutes be able to play ranked and that would be smurfing i'm like grand jump 2 grand jump 3 i would be playing against diamonds within 45 minutes that's not even a long time and not only anyone can smurf if you report them smurfing nothing will happen they don't even get punished for it you, you can just you can just report them but they will there won't be any actions right now you there's only actions taken when it's harassment there is no punishment for smurfing which is so confusing because that ruins the game for everyone that's like the most ruining factor of the game yes harassment is bad and it should be bannable as it is right now but smurfing makes the game actually unplayable for you because you just lose your rank you lose you get and you get annoyed by, by these players smurfing and it and it's just so annoying now i know i have said five reasons but I, I just have another one right now and, and this isn't really like a game problem it's more of the company problem communicate with your community listen to them because they are the fans of your game and they want the best for it obviously not everyone but most people that actually have love for the game like myself they want the best for the game they want to play it they want to enjoy it they want something new they want something fresh and getting involved with the community and responding to their concerns or ideas just makes everyone have hope and and it makes them feel like they're being listened to and of course you have to take actions if you think that the, the some idea is genuinely good take action implement it do something about it instead of just ignoring they removed trading everyone was shitting on them biggest creators were making videos about how that's a bad idea and there has been silence in fact do you know what their next tweet was a halloween item shop like like another cosmetic they, they shot on the whole community and what they added after that oh yeah just uh buy this skin guys so yeah here's just a few things that psionics and epic games can do to revive the game because in my opinion it is slowly dying it's way less enjoyable you know there's a problem with smurfing there's nothing new to the game there's nothing exciting like i, I don't want to keep spending money to have something new and as you can clearly see you don't need a whole team to come up with these ideas as i came up with them alone within like five minutes and other people have their there's so many people that given ideas, single people like normal, like normal, just people that care about the game. And of course, the recent updates in the past two, two years, two and a half years are all greedy and just money motivated. And currently, literally any other game is more fun to me than Rocket League. And of course, I would love that to change because Rocket League is like my favorite game of all time, probably on the same level as GTA was. GTA is like my childhood game as well. And Rocket League is at that level is one of my favorite games to ever exist. And I've put so much effort into it. I have 4000 hours like I care about the game. But yeah, that's all I have. I just hope things will get better with the game because honestly it's in a really bad state right now the psionics and epic games don't care about their community they don't respond to anything they just do whatever they want and they don't give a fuck basically so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did then make sure to like and subscribe check out our discord server link is in the description and comment down below if you maybe have any ideas for epic games or psionics whatever and yeah peace